Aerial fireworks have been lighting up the skies across the state, and it's not even New Year's Eve yet. Plus, they're also illegal. So be careful out there this weekend because emergency services responded to 13 firework related injuries last New Year's Eve, which was double from the previous year. Joining us this morning is Dr. Luis Paolella, an emergency room physician at Kaiser Permanente. Good morning, Doc. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. Aloha. Doing well. Thank you. Now, first off, what are some of the most common injuries that you see on New Year's Eve? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, most common injuries we see involve the, the face and the hands. Um, sort of makes sense. You're holding those fireworks and lighting them. Um, and then uh, they often are exploding upwards, so they, they often involve the face and the eyes particularly. Now, for people with respiratory issues, what's your advice to them? Because there's going to be a lot of smoke from the fireworks and very light trade winds. Yeah, certainly uh, fireworks create a lot of particulate, sort of PM 2.5. It's been in the you know, news recently. Um, causes a lot of respiratory issues for folks with um, chronic lung disease, asthma. Um, so certainly making sure that you have your rescue devices like albuterol. Um, handy um, just in case you have some respiratory issues or um, if you can turn on a HEPA filter in the home, um, shut the windows um, to sort of avoid um, that, uh, that particulate getting in your home. Now, Doc, I'm sure you see some patients coming in from car crashes, from drunk driving accidents. What's your advice to people celebrating the new year? Uh, yes, uh, you know, it's always a good reminder um, if you're going to go out and celebrate the new year, which we all enjoy doing, um, making sure that you have a, a ride, um, a, a person who hasn't um, had any alcohol that evening, um, who's well arrested, um, who can drive you home safely. Because it's tough on New Year's Eve if you see someone coming in on a car crash and how it affects the entire family and community. Oh, for sure. I mean, uh, we all enjoy celebrating the, the start of a new year. It's exciting. Um, the fireworks uh, are certainly uh, provide a lot of excitement and beautiful um, shows, um, but certainly we want to do so safely, right? And what about kids' safety? Any advice for parents? Yeah, I would say um, for folks using um, firecrackers, fireworks, uh, making sure that the kids are not playing with those um, devices, not lighting them, uh, making sure that they're far away, you know. Most, the most uh, common injuries um, are the most common um, firecrackers, and that's like sparklers. They can burn at like 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. They can melt metal. Um, so, you know, even the most uh, benign ones um, can cause the most injury. All right, there you have it, Dr. Pirolella. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Some great information, and you have a happy new year. You too.